Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm going to be talking about ENS domains for what seems to be the 50th time this month, but they have gone absolutely crazy over the last 24 hours. And even since we've last mentioned them in the video, a lot of those items that were brought up, obviously mentioned, have tripled or doubled or quadrupled or whatever in price. And I'm just going to go through them a little bit more in depth in this video so we understand it a bit better, or at least try to understand the craziness that's happening. While the whole OpenSea market is down, the whole NFT market is down, not just OpenSea. You can see if I come in here on my screen, ENS uh, volume in the last 24 hours is basically triple the next highest one. And then this is also just another meme thing. But look, uh, Bored Ape, Mutant Ape, CryptoPunks, other side. ENS domains are through the roof in demand and through the roof in sales as well. If I click on it, I'm just... This is just an example. I go into the activity. We can also see this uh, little dot, that's the volume bit. Have a look at how many are selling in the last 10 minutes. And this is crazy because gas is super cheap. NFTs are super down. And this is one of the few things that are pumping. If we come over to this graph, you can see, obviously, makes sense. Uh, registered names yesterday, where there was 30,000 new registered names. If we come in here, we can see how much they were registered for, when they were registered, how long they were registered for. There's a trend that's been happening for a while now, a couple of months, and that is numbers. You'll see a lot of these sales here will be a lot of numbers. You've got five-digit English. You've got Arabic numbers here. You've got 000 registered, you've got Japanese, basic Japanese numbers, you've got Chinese numbers. If we keep going, there's more Arabic. You'll see we've got, again, I'm going to try not to put it, I believe this would be Thai numbers. Uh, yeah, Thai numbers. We've got variation of numbers. <laughs> we've got OX numbers. It's like I believe this is a Japanese Pokemon, yeah? Carnivore, Japanese Carnivore. Uh, but really cool to see what's being registered and what's going through. Will all these be like this forever? No, absolutely not. Uh... Some numbers might be because it's like, as I've said in previous videos, and if you haven't watched them, it's like number plates that numbers are always the premium. If you drive past a car on the road and it has a number 10 number plate, you know they paid a lot of money. Due to ENS, you need to have at least three digits. Having, for example, one thing I'm about to show you, 000, which is the lowest number possible, and also an emergency number in Australia. This Having this is an absolute premium, which is why which also helps boost this this happened to sell just this 24 hours for 300 ethereum you can see here it sold for 320,000 us dollars which is insane because as i've said in the past this is all about eth and web3 adoption and then the crypto prices currently are all saying we'll slow down on that adoption for now it's a little bit weird that these are pumping so so crazy when the adoption is slowing down for now the way i see it is more so it's proving that there will be long-term adoption versus people being stupid with money, which is a little bit of that as well. Some of these do not deserve to be gone for the money, such as this one here. This is ENS Vision. If you've watched previous videos, you'll know what this is. This is by far the best fans, web, uh, community-made, obviously for profit, but community-made thing that happened to ENS, which helped these numbers go crazy. Basically, this is a marketplace aggregator searcher for things that don't really have categories. If we jump over to OpenSea ENS, you sort of know... No real categories, which makes sense because ENS itself is just the domain registering service. They're not going to come out and be like, oh, that seems like that's a three digit under 100 in Thai. But what ENS Vision has done, they grab lists of things, they filter things into categories that are relevant to them. The Thai 99 Club, the 999 Club, three digit palindrome, so like 121, OX 99 Club, which is always so funny that that's big. And if we see all categories, there are so many different categories. Uh, my personal favorite, which I skipped minting some of these because I thought no one would want Roman numeral 957 which is 17 digits but turns out they do. Once you click on them you can see activity. This pulls all the activity which is really cool. See one hour, two hours, two hours, three hours of these sales. I skimmed over registering so many of these literally three days ago which is another thing I wanted to say. Whenever I go through these I know it feels to you guys that these are unobtainable but it's crazy because if we have a look at these registers two days three days one day two days three days like all of these this column here is registered so in here it's sold for 0 0.15 and it was registered two days ago just for one month so this person paid 0 0.01 and sold it for 0 0.15 within two days span so this has been happening with a lot of these as well a lot of people are getting ingenious for example i last night before i went to sleep registered hebrew for 212 I believe and then I woke up this morning and all the Hebrew 999 numbers are sold out I'm like damn I should have registered more but there's so many that like even for example the Korean club 999 club the floor is 0 0.5 and if we have a look at the days that they've been registered let's click on one of these last sales here one hour ago they sold this number sold for 0 0.68 click on it and look down here registration date it was the 1st of July currently it's the 4th of July so these people are making a, really a lot of money 
within three to four days from registering, which is something really cool and attainable for all of you guys. If you come in here, obviously I recommend starting with five digits just purely because they're so much cheaper to min come here if you find something some cool harry potter characters this is actually something that i was interested in there are two that aren't registered we're surprised hyphen is official but come in here these are just people from harry potter have a look at the activity amos degree sold for 0.055 which is profit it's profit from minting if you have something that lord voldemort's kind of a cool name actually if you had some people or something that you're actually interested in i would just register a couple of names even if they turn out to nothing they're super cheap you can register them for around ten dollars if you do it at the right time with gas. Gas has also been single digits, which is crazy to me. There's an eight gas, seven gas. But also just come in here and explore. Capital cities, we've got countries, we've got hyphens. Some of these don't make sense, which is also why there's no volume for it. We've got Pokemon, got English verb, five letter dictionary, five digit palindrome. All of these, there are so many different categories and there's so many things that are still available. I've registered over like 50 names in the last week. At the moment, it's really just a gold rush for all these 999 clubs and all these different languages. Once that dies down, once people who have been, more and more people are getting exposed to ENS now, people will start registering registering names they want for themselves or their family members or uh, long term for the adoption and they're the ones that I think will be around to stay and be very very valuable such as Sam.e, the English 999s or the Arabic, I do I do agree with the Arabic that's the floor is now four. Just here I pulled up our last video just five days ago we made this video literally five days ago and you can see here Chinese three digit was 0.22 ETH, this is a uh, four digit Arabic if I keep skipping through, even just the three digit um, English, I can I, I really, I don't know what to call these, but I'm going to call it English. It was 20 ETH there. What else is there? Another a nice number here, 616 in Chinese or, yeah, in Chinese was 0 0.36. And then if I come in over to in and look for, for example, Chinese 999 Club, currently the cheapest floor, a Chinese 999, which is 02, obviously 1 to 999, 001, 002, 00, get the point, is 1. And then, so just in the five days, 0 0.36 or a sort of a premium one up to 1.1, which is profit, which is absolutely crazy to see in this market. And even like special ones, so here, this is, but this was 2.1, so it could be worth a little bit more. And even the four digit Arabic, so maybe I've just chosen one Arabic 10K club, the floor is 0 0.1 and that's gone up from 0 0.03. So that's also 3A, which is crazy to think in this market that is possible, but it is. To finish this up, I do want to bring your attention to one thing that kind of a negative and I'll try to explain it the best I can, basically is because three digits cost 0 0.2 e to register for 12 months, a lot of people are registering just for, are registering all these brand new ones for either like three weeks or, f or one month, which can leave you holding the baby if you were to purchase on secondary and not be aware of this. You can see here even the four digit ones, which cost 0 0.06 to register for a year or stupidly cheap to register for a month. These All these floor ones expire in three weeks and they were created four days ago. So if you come in here and, and you purchase see this one here, it expires in one week. So if you come in here and you purchase whatever off the floor, make sure you check their expiry date. Don't let it expire on you because if it expires on you there is then a premium price that you have to pay which uh does suck see this one expires in fish for fish for expires in 19 hours and so if i come over here and i try to actually register it on ens there is a premium price here for one year it will cost me a little bit of a premium this is basically the graph it starts at a certain price and goes down over time a good example of this is this one is 2.7 eth to register however if it is a truly a premium name if you let it go people can come in and really just snipe it before you have the chance to re-register it because these are all publicly accessible you can come in here and snipe other people's if you want if you're willing to play a premium at a certain price so just be aware when you're buying a floor especially for the lower numbers like the three digits four digits basically all of them <laughs> well at least a lot a lot of them will be expiring very, very soon, such as a couple of these. You can person who purchases this at 1.09, they've got a week to re-register it or else it basically goes up for a Dutch auction if anyone wants to snipe it. If no one snipes it, it just goes back on the market and then whoever can register it for the price, the, e the normal ENS price. So just be careful if you purchase one, check the expiry date. You can do it through ENS or you can even do it through ENS Vision to make sure. You can type in whatever ETH up here. So let's type in uh, 9 and you can see here, when was it? registered when's it expiring you can see it's expiring in 2042 this one so make sure yours don't expire on you and you fumble the bag anyway probably not the last ens video i'll make purely because it's popping off and it's popping off much much higher than anything else the other things that are popping off are free mints which are really hit and miss some of them go crazy some of them don't so a lot harder to cover that crypto is doing crypto's thing. This is the most exciting thing that's happening at the moment. And if you're not exposed to it, just watch it. Just observe. Every now and then, just come in and 
go to OpenSea, for example, just come over to OpenSea, go to Looks Rare, go to X2Y2, go to the actual listing and check them out. Check out the sales a minute ago. Check out people sweeping a lot, checking out what price things go for. Thank you for watching. Oh, one last thing. Be careful of things like this. Obviously, these are very obvious, but that L is a one. That one is an L or a capital I. It happens surprisingly more often than you would expect. People are registering things that are quite obviously fake. Some of them, they have some value, but just be careful if something seems too good to be true, if it's already registered and it seems too good to be true, copy it over, change the font, get the name, copy it over into Word, change the font, Google it, see what comes up. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.